viewers, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Peer Review. Anyway, we're going to take a look at something super special from uh, a brewery that's relatively new here in New Brunswick from, I think, Hanwell? Hanwell, New Brunswick, which is near Ferguson. This is from Niche Brewing, a very, very, very special release from Niche called Evolution Barrel Age Saison, which is inspired, or rather, sorry, it's uh, Evolution is a Belgian Saison uh, brewed with Pilsner, Wheat, Vienna, and Rye malts. We fermented and aged this beer in a Chardonnay barrel with a house culture of Saison and Brettanomyces yeast strains. This beer represents our love of farmhouse sales, as well as the continued development and evolution of our house culture. Find your niche, strong beer from Niche Brewing. Now, do they have a website? They probably do. They definitely have a Facebook page. I'm on it. I, 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 I'm not on it, but I mean, I like it. All right, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn, how big is this bottle? 500 mils. I think I lost about a third of the bottle on the floor. At eight, at nine dollars a bottle, it was eight ninety nine a bottle. I'm not super impressed by having that much fizz on the floor. Yeah, she's definitely a wild one, but she is gorgeous looking. Very, very hazy, poofy white head. A lot of, a lot of crud left on the outside of the glass from the uh, from the from this. Jeez. I'm not sure if that's going to be something that's well suited for aging. I mean, considering it's Chardonnay barrels, I mean, maybe it's infected. Who knows? Uh, I'm not really crazy for for that, but uh, who knows? The flavor might uh, might make up for it. It does look gorgeous, at least, when uh, poured in a glass. And if you were to get this on tap or something, it'd probably be pretty nice. But as far as cracking open a beer at cellar temperatures... Jesus. All right. Let's put this, uh, let's give this a whiff. All right. So it's very, uh, oh, excuse me. Very lemony. It's a, it's like lemon lime, actually. It's, you get bits of the, uh, the Chardonnay, lots of the Chardonnay coming through in the aroma. It's a very, uh, a very vinous smelling beer. It's almost like uh, lemon, lime, lemongrass. Lots of lemongrass coming through on that. Herbal. Bits of coriander. And very Belgian, that's for sure. Very wild, too. Like, I do get that uh, that characteristic smell of, like, a, of Brett's or something. And just oodles. Oodles of that. That, that that wine character, that white wine character. Wow, that's that's crazy. All right, let's see if it's worth it. Down the hatch. Cheers. Well, that is exceptionally tart. Wow, it it's not like. <coughs> Sorry. It's not like spoiled beer cart. Like, I don't get... I mean, I do get something that's very... Uh, a very vinous, very sour beer. And I do get something that's got like a... Like a, 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 a waft of like a blue cheese funk left over in the background from all the yeast. Um, it's very drying in the back. Uh, with like a lingering... I almost want to call it dill pickle taste in the back, but it's this this lemon lime wine character, this white wine lingering character that coats the back of the throat. Almost this is almost like drinking a wine, really. Except for it's way more carbonated. I am getting bits of spices buried in there as well, but they don't come out to the forefront. For the most part, I'm getting this white wine. Blue cheese, dill pickle, lemon juice, and it's not sweet. A lingering lemon tartness and blue cheese funk in the back of the throat. Oh. 
lemon juice and white wine. I think that's the best thing I can I can use to describe this. Uh, you know, kudos for trying something this experimental. Uh, I think people inclined to buy this beer. I don't know if I would want to age this if you were one of the lucky ones because they didn't make very many of these. Um, I know that it was shipped out to A and B L stores in limited quantities, and I think that maybe 48 bottles made it to the uh, the Wellington store in St. John, and I got the last two bottles. I'm glad to try it, um, but I don't know if I love it. And I think it's a solid first effort for a Chardonnay barrel age saison, but I'm willing to bet that this is not going to age well. It's got promise, but it's whew, Jesus. That's that's wow. All right, um, that's just way too much yeast. I find. Uh, it's interesting to try. Um, I got turned on to this beer by a uh, Facebook uh, page, uh, East Coast Beer News. Uh, beer nerds, East Coast beer nerds. And he was saying it was the best beer that he's ever had. You know me, I've been around for almost eight years on YouTube, and I've had lots of different beers, including barrel aged saisons, and I'm not crazy for this. I mean, I do enjoy trying it, it's just there's some aspects of it that are a bit of a letdown. But I do think it's a solid first effort. I'm going to give that. Yeah, 3.5 out of 5, and I'm being generous. There's big aspects of that that could use a lot of work, and uh, I, I think it shows a lot of promise, but uh, try it again next time. For anybody interested in saving a bunch of bottles of this, I would not age this. Anyway, so that's my opinion on this. Uh, Evolution from Niche Brewing up in Ferguson, or actually Hanwell, New Brunswick, which is outside of Ferrickton somewhere. I think it's southwest of Ferrickton. We'll talk with you folks later. Cheers.